Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And in the last episode, um, I came up with the idea of how to make my armor swapper thing, which I've been trying to work out for like the last half year or something like that. And I worked it out, and off camera, I have found a place that would be suitable for it. So this would be like the main room, the armor stand would come here or something. And then back here is gonna be all the wiring, and this needs to go down like ten blocks or something, maybe twelve. I don't, I don't know. I didn't count yet. But what else I've done off camera is I have finally found a jungle biome. Um. So previously in the game, the way generation worked is that with every snapshot and update, like even with every snapshot, the generation would change a bit, right? Or maybe like every update, I don't know. But basically generation changed a lot. But apparently they did it so that it stays the same. Uh, for every seed there is that has been created since 1.8 I think. Which is when this world was created. So, do you know what that means? I was able to use a chunk finder thingy majiggy that I have downloaded. And I can use it on any world I want. And I have found a jungle biome. It is only like... Um, Negative 8,000, negative 7,000, mm, kind of far, but I did it in the nether and I found a jungle biome. I got a whole bunch of cocoa beans and I have finally dyed my sheep here brown. I am so proud of that. That took such a long time to do, but I finally got the brown. This is now complete. But as always, I have also found a mesa. Um, again, I haven't. I haven't actually gone there yet though, so just saying, and this this beacon does have speed, just saying, um, so yeah, I have found a mesa, which is, uh, which isn't too far away, but the biggest thing of all, I, I may need to go over here or something, to show you, I have found, not too, not too far away, just about a thousand blocks away, which I can fly to in like, fight, in like, Two minutes, yeah? You guessed it, spike ties by him. I am so happy I have got I have got a whole shulker box of it, plus more somewhere. I, I, it's, it's at my ice farm, I think I left it. There's like a whole bunch more. But yeah, I only mind like eight big spikes of, and a few small ones to get that much. So I am really happy and there's still tons more and like that was the closest biggest one. But there's one slightly closer that way, but my main one was there. So, yes. And the nearest mesa is that way as well, actually. It's not too far away. Uh, I'm gonna need to make a nether tunnel, and I know one of you people absolutely loves my tunnels. So, maybe I'll... Maybe when I actually get around to doing it in about a month, um, I'll stream it because I'll have a more powerful computer, so I'll be able to stream it. So, just saying. Um, Something for you to w watch out for. Uh, and yeah, let's get on with some building now. I've got a lot of stuff to do. So I have found that in the last update, chunk loading has not been the strongest point of Minecraft. Because I've just been flying around trying to find the design for like ages now. And by the way, that's not it. That's, that's a broken version of it. Um, and I'm having a lot of trouble because the world is so bad at loading and there's barely anything here to load like a few holes of course but yeah I need a more powerful computer like right about now so I've just been here for like half an hour now and I cannot find a way to put an armor stand into your minecart like I swear it was possible and it was but I can't like I even looked at a tutorial how to do it and it doesn't work so what did Minecraft do? What did Microsoft do? I hate you Microsoft so much. Why can I not put a mine an armor stand into minecart? I tried like every way possible that I've seen. That doesn't work. Dropping the armor stand doesn't work. So what does work? I don't know. 
Okay, so I just did some research on this, and uh, apparently it's a bug that has been resolved but has come back. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna wait for the next update to see if, it, if it's ever gonna get fixed. But for now, this is delayed. I, I procrastinate a lot, don't I? So, I do have another project in, in mind, pre-planned, and that's what we're gonna do. So, I want to build a castle. The hardest question is where, because I want it somewhere that I don't have to go so far away that I don't want to go there, kind of like my second base, and my original thought was to go to the jungle and build it there, but that is very far away, very, very far away, that's like a thousand blocks in the nether, um, and I'm not willing to go that far, um, just for a castle, um, so somewhere around here would be very nice. I was just thinking about surrounding my whole village here, in a big castle, but then I thought, well, what about my plan of having different villages? Would that mean that I need to have many different castles? What, what, how would that affect the series? How would that affect everything that I've done so far? So, it's a very difficult thing to plan something as big as that right now. Um, I could build it there, but... You know, like, there's not enough space. Like, there's just this little bit here that really annoys me. Um, otherwise I would. Wait, how big is that forest, I wonder? I might build it there. Uh, let's see real quick. Yeah, it's not flat enough. Um, like, something like a plains biome would be ideal, but I just don't like the colour of the grass, really. So, yeah, I, ge I guess it's my problem from now on. Okay, I have decided I'm going to build it in this roof tourist, which is the first one, the one to the uh, west? East. Yeah, east. That's what I meant. Um, and this may strike a few problems, but it should be alright. And besides, if I'm building it here, I can just locate my my main base like there for the moment and then this is going to be growing and then I can actually complete the big tunnel which is gonna be a big thing so this is where we're going to start and uh, I need to like have millions of blocks which I... I have a few actually uh, but I need, I need stone brick okay I've got some stone together, I have loads and loads more, this is why I don't throw my stone away. By the way, I was planning this for a very long time, this is why I haven't thrown any of my stone away, and also probably why I'm digging the big circle and probably why I actually want to dig it instead of just emptying it all out and burning all the stuff in lava. So, um, let's get a whole bunch of stone, this may take a while. Um, this is where I wish that I had a second computer, right about now. Again. I'll only get that in about in about a month. So now I'm just gonna select a nice perimeter where to do it. Uh, it may travel into the swamp a bit, um, and also the it's gonna go on top of this hill so that it's more barricaded, I guess. Um, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna try to make it historically accurate, and not just four balls slapped together. I'm gonna make it look nice. Which is something I don't usually do. But either way, I need to work. And lots of work. I think I have made the perimeter. Um, it's pretty big. Um, but it's not very easy to see either. So it's going to fly pretty much where I put it. Um, wait. Like this, yeah, across this. Um, loading would be very nice. Okay, oh, big giant lag spike, uh, that's not good. Okay, goes around here. Stop lagging, please. Um, oh my god, what is up with Minecraft? Um, ow, I just burnt myself on my laptop. Okay, I think I need to, like, uh, give it a big break or something like that. So, right, after this clip, I'm, I'm just gonna pause, basically. Um, if it's not clear enough, I'm basically gonna have to, uh, cut down this whole forest. Okay, I cannot play like this anymore. 
basically it goes around the whole forest, okay? It goes somewhere around here, so, uh, yeah, I lost track of where I am now. Goes here, um, uh, okay, I need to pause. It is, it is not good to, for a laptop to be this hot. So here's the situation, guys. Um, I cannot build the castle right now because I need to clear the whole area pretty much. And uh, so instead we're gonna work on the town hall here. Um, I haven't actually worked on this for a while. I need oak and spruce, I think. And glass panes, yeah. I think that's gonna be it for the t for the second level here. It's gonna go up another level, um, I think. But currently I need to work out how I'm going to do this little bit here, or at least what I'm going to do for it. Because, like, the idea is to maybe have a library, but I also want this to be windows. Like, it would be so much easier if, there, if this was modded Minecraft, because then I could, like, make covers and it wouldn't look that bad. I don't know. Um... Maybe if I can do this. Like, I don't know how this would be realistically, but that would give me some space to like put bookshelves and stuff. Like on this level here. Or actually. Um, if I could have bookshelves on either side of these posts, and then these small entrances to go into here. Yeah, that might work. Mm, this thing isn't big enough, it needs to go out one more block, but then it's gonna look a bit weird on from down here, isn't it? If I have it go out another block. Let, let's try it. Let's try a little bit here. Actually, no, it's going to look fine. I'm going to do that for all of them now. In fact, I think this will make more more sense because then there's like a perfect square here, kind of. So it just makes more sense. I don't know, it looks better, I think. So now we have lots more room. So, and I still don't know what we're doing. <laughs> okay, uh, so bookshelves. I'm gonna be on either side, small entrances here. Um, I don't know what Victorian town village halls look like. All I know is that there's just one big massive room and it's boring as hell. But I don't want it to be like this here because otherwise I wouldn't build it if it was boring. So how do I make this interesting? Like it needs to have some kind of functionality in my opinion. When I build something, I try to make it f somewhat functional. For example, the blacksmith, it has the, um, the big, whatchamacallit, uh, smeltery at the bottom for me to, to basically smelt anything in my furnaces down there. And a blacksmith is pretty much in every village. That is decent enough. Or, yeah, I make sense today. Um, so, that works out really well, I think. However, I don't know what I'll do with this. Like, I, I was thinking of having, like, a big storage room down at the bottom, because, like, kind of like a big one, or, like, better than that one. That's, like, I need to make a better one now. Because if you've noticed, all of my stone is, like, at my second base. So, what do I do here, then? Well, gonna be glass here. It's gonna be one taller than this. But I'm just gonna do one layer for now, like this. And then have to think of something to fit this. Uh, maybe some kind of lounge, I don't know. Um, how would I make a sofa here? Like, seats to look out here, I don't, I don't know. It's complicated with, in Minecraft. Uh, let's just do something like this, uh, let's just do this. Okay, and... Okay, it's lit up, that's good enough. 
What can this be? Okay, so this is pretty much what I remember uh, seeing in old village halls or whatever. I don't know, but I just remember a lounge being something a little like this, um, with the windows behind you. So, like, imagine that this is um, bookshelves, and you're just here, kind of reading. Uh, I don't think this will be a bookshelf though, because oh, this is so difficult. Um. I think it's okay to have a bookshelf on this side, I don't know. It's gonna look quite, quite good from here, but this can't be a bookshelf because then there's gonna be a staircase going up, so... Um, I, don't, I don't think a bookshelf would look very good where there's stairs. And I fall, like I always do. Okay, so... Going back up here, um... I, I seem to remember there being something, like right here, I don't know, like a table, I don't, I don't know what it is. Um... But... It, there was definitely something there. Uh, I'm gonna try the same but with birch because birch might look better for a table. Um, I have like a stack of of birch stairs in my storage room but I can't be bothered to go back there now. Um, right and I might put like a pressure plate over top. Okay. Mm, I think it stands out a bit too much. Doesn't it? I think I got the color of the seats right though. Like it seems quite, it seems right, but I don't know. Um, like I guess it would be leather, and leather is kind of like that color. Um, well, let's see. If I if I try putting some pressure plates on this now. Yeah, I think that would work. And so then, the glass would be a little higher like this. Okay, just a bit more. By the way, the texture pack I'm using uh, makes the pressure plates, pressure plates quiet. I can't speak today, wow. Okay, so, bookshelves would go up to three, I think. Um, if I do this, and then this again like that, yeah it seems about right, so I'm just going to repeat this throughout, and I'm going to copy this over to that side as well, and we'll see how it looks, I might t end up tearing this down, I don't know. Man, what is it with the creepers? That's six creepers around here, and two of them inside the actual place. Like, I just went to sleep for like 10 seconds and there's creepers everywhere. Like, what the hell? And now a spider. Amazing. What am I doing? Uh, I've done some progress now. Um, it looks quite nice actually. Um, I need to get more bookshelves to put into here though. Um, I'm still thinking whether I should do them three high or just two high. From the inside it looks good with two high, but from the outside it, it would look better with three. So it's a bit difficult to decide right now, but either way I need more bookshelves. And uh, they're kind of pricey, because I kind of run out of leather, kind of quickly. And uh, I don't know if I do have any more, actually I do have a lot more, it's, in, it's up here, isn't it? I didn't think of that. Um, right, leather, I'll take that either way. No leather? Oh, leather. Okay. I need more leather. Is it in here? It probably is. Not. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I have more books over here, um, but they're meant for enchanting. Never mind, I don't have any more books. So I guess I'll have to do. Uh, I, need, I need 12 bookshelves for every side. 
when it's too high or 18 when it's um, three high so let's just make some more books and more bookshelves that will make me three more so I'll need two more in the end uh, okay I'll get two more don't worry don't worry I'll get two more it's not difficult I'll just kill some cows but I think we I might be running out of time on this episode I didn't do very much unfortunately I was I was expecting to get the redstone stuff doing over there but there is that bug where um, where armor stands just aren't picked up by uh, minecarts or any entity I think now I don't know but either way it's complicated so that will have to wait for a while now and you know maybe eventually I'll do it when they fix it but it's just a clean out area now so I'll do it some other time but I think I am done with this for now uh, it definitely took quite a long time but yes thank you for watching and as always I will see you all in the next one bye bye